Hey guys, so today um, I'm going to talk a very, about a very special song and uh, uh, so I don't know how to explain and uh, this is probably the weirdest thing in my entire life uh, but uh, there's a song <laughs> I don't know how to explain it it's, it's Gosh, I'm sorry, I'm having, it's like something down my spine that it's just, just in my bones, in my very soul, in my very self, and I don't know, so, and um, usually I'm not in a position to make a video, uh, so <laughs> it came today, and this is a very special song that I've hummed my entire life and I've had it in my head for 30 years, if not 30 years, at least for the past 25 years in my head. And uh, gosh, and I'm sorry, this is, I'm, I'm getting, it's like a, some weird reaction down my spine and God, I don't know. So, to begin the story, as a kid, I would have a song in my head, usually when I went to sleep, and um, I think the, um, I was never much of a sleeper, but when I slept well, I usually slept dreaming about this song, and it's so, I don't know, it's so, I have a Portuguese word which is saudade and it means kind of nostalgia but it's deeper that's the feeling I get with that music it's some longing for some I don't know some longing for something some it's, it's deep and uh, hang on someone just came home okay so my brother just came home <laughs> and um, I don't know how to explain, but it's like the song just was in my head. And uh, I hummed it all the time. I didn't understand the words. <laughs> Gosh, it's weird feeling. <laughs> and it was in my head the entire time as a child. I don't know where I picked it up. <laughs> and... Uh, you know, it, it's crazy that I only learned the name on the 70, 70th birthday of Israel where, while I was watching the live stream um, in Arat Sheva, I think. And uh, I was listening to it and I was just, this is the song, this is the song. I never knew the name of the song, really. And it played over and over again and when it was playing I was talking to a Jewish friend and uh, over the internet. I went like, no, this is the song, this is the song. And of course, was working, couldn't spare time. And uh, it was crazy. And when I told him, he was quite amazed because at a certain point, they said the name of the song, uh, it's the Jerusalem of Gold. And gosh, I don't know why. I have such a reaction to that song. It's so... I don't know, it's so... It, there is no words to describe the feeling. It's some longing for some some place, some something. It's some... it's so that. It's what we call so that in Portuguese. Um, that nostalgia that uh, I don't know how to explain. And I, I talked to a few Jewish friends and then they said, you know, maybe angels sung that to you when you were a baby <laughs> or something like that. This was so sweet. And uh, I don't know. I don't know why I have this song in my head, uh, even now as an adult, especially in the last few days because I've been praying and uh, Gosh, I don't know why this song is in my head, and I don't know how to explain the feeling. It's just, it's just like it's part of me. It's it's weird, and 
I've known it since I remember to be me, and I hum this song all the time, and I couldn't get the name of the song. It's weird. You know, there you have those songs that you hum and you don't, you know the name, you don't know the name, but then with the lyrics you get there. This song was stuck in my head for over 20 years. I didn't, I don't know where I pick it up. I just know that I dream about this song a lot, that it's it's in my head, and every now and then I hear it, and it's like it's like it's coming from inside me. It's weird. It's, it's a weird feeling. It's like it's 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 um it's weird to explain. It's like it it's it's resonating within me. It's it's. It's like it's part of me. It's, it's so weird. So I don't know. I had to explain this because that I want to know if there's anyone that has such an experience with this song or anything really. Because it, it, I don't know. It's like well, how can you know a song that you never heard before, or if you have heard it. You know, I wasn't in a Jewish environment, and I don't know where I picked it up. But then, even if you listen to it once or twice, why does it stay in your head for for years or years on end? I'm sorry, it's just I'm not cold. It's that sensation that I feel when I think about the music. It's um, it's weird. It's a, I don't know. It's this song really I don't know it's uh I had to talk about this this is I don't know it's 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 um I'm sorry I'm at a loss for words that's the best description of how I feel it's I have no words to describe it it's yeah I want to understand why this song is in my head all the time and why I cannot take it, and why it was in my head to begin with, because I never, you know, I live in Europe, we don't have contact with Hebrew or anything, but this song was in my head for so long. It's, uh, it's so, it's eerie, it's, uh, I don't know, it's, it's amazing. So yeah, Jerusalem of Gold has been in my head for years and years and years and years and uh, apparently it still is and now I can name the song and it's amazing and I'm happy and I don't know how to describe this so it's I know I had to, to, to talk about that experience because that day that day when I when I heard the song and I was watching the live stream was such a special day. I was so happy to finally be able to to get that music and listen to it when I want. Now I can just type on YouTube the name of the song and listen to it and um it's 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 amazing. And the thing is I never heard the English version. <laughs> I always heard the I didn't know English either, so at the time it didn't matter. In my head, it always it's a, it always spoke in Hebrew, and that's the other thing. When I hear speaking Hebrew, I also feel nostalgic. I don't understand a thing, but I feel so. It's like a maternal kind of feeling, and uh, it's so weird. I don't. It's another thing that it's really hard to explain, but yeah, I wanted to share this because I don't know, it's 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 one of those things that I can't explain. And I don't know why this song has been in my head since I was a child. I remember my parents coming from Switzerland and I was traveling from between Switzerland and Portugal by car. And I was there, and I was talking to my parents, do you hear this music? My, my parents were like, she's imagining things. 
the radio is is turned off and i but you must have the radio on um no we're we, the radio is turned on and my father even got angry because i was saying no but there's a music there's a music and uh, i guess i was the, the only one listening to it i was saying there is a music there's a music playing and uh, then they they attributed it to bad sleep and me probably being the uh, half awake half asleep but i was listening to it and uh, I asked my parents where the, about the music, but they weren't listening to it. That's when, and I think it's the only time that I ever brought it to my parents, because um, it was at night, and the most times that I hear it, it's at night when I'm trying to sleep. And um, I was in the car, we were traveling, um, I think we were in France at the time, we, near the Alps or something, or close to Spain, the Pyrenees or something like that. And uh, all throughout the, the all throughout the night I was listening to that music over and over again and my parents thought I was crazy because I was asking and they couldn't hear the music but I could so uh, that's, uh, that's another, that's the only memory that I have about confronting my parents about it. But yeah, I thought that probably it was the radio, but, um, the radio was turned off and, um, yeah. So I know it's a, it's not a very usual YouTube video, but, uh, I wanted to share this because it's a very special song to me and uh, I don't understand why, I don't just understand how, but it's it's like, I don't know how to explain. So goodbye, have a great day, I hope you like this video and I know it's not informative or anything, it's just personal experience and I wanted to have it recorded because um, it's something that is special to me and it's something that I want to remember one day. And, uh, yes, so bye.